Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we are going to discuss the Controller and Auditor General's report, the CAG report, which has been placed in the Parliament on the Rafale deal. Paranjay, how do you react to this? In the Supreme Court sealed cover, we had been told, this is what the Supreme Court judgment said, that the CAG has redacted <laughs> the price and placed it before the Parliament. All the figures have been given to CAG. This was said about two months back. Now we find that actually CAG has redacted, as predicted in the Supreme Court sealed cover, presumably, uh, that the price figures. Does it show that the CAG had already told the government what it was going to do? Prameer, firstly, this report presented by the Controller and Auditor General of India in Parliament today, which is the 13th of February 2019, is not only about the Rafale aircraft manufactured by Dassault Aviation. It deals with 11 contracts that were signed by the Indian Air Force. These were capital acquisition contracts between 2012-13 and 2017-18. The total value of all these contracts came to 95,000 crore approximately. Now wait. What is very interesting is right up front, the preface says that, that the Ministry of Defense in, on the 15th of January 2019 had requested the CAG's office to redact the commercial details pertaining to the MMRCA, which is the medium multi-role combat aircraft Rafale. Rafale ka jo Laraku Viman CAG ko Raksha Mantralaya ne kaha ki iska jo kimat hai, jo daam hai, isko mat patao. Daam ke details mat patao. Ek, ab phir sunye kya hua. Phir CAG unko 5 February ko likha ki kiyo aise kar raha hai. Aur unho ne kaha CAG was reluctant and refused to carry out the redaction of price information on account of difficulties in comprehension. Matlab usko samaj mein nahi aarai kyun ye pooch rahe aur unho ne iska virod kiya aur bola ki agar hum ye sare jo dham hai isko hum hata dete hai to hum kaise tulna karenge? How do we no, compare? The question is they can compare but nobody will understand. Kisi ko samaj mein nahi aga kya kya hai. Ek chota sa baat mein aur jodna chata hun. Ye jo raksha mantrala hai बार बार सीएजी को कहा और सीएजी का हम उनके बात मान लिया मतलब जो सीएजी है जो कंट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया है एक एक संविधानिक संस्था है इनका एक स्वाधीनता से ऑटोनॉमी से काम करना तो लग रहे इस बार एक नया प्रीसिडेंट हम कहा कि इन्होंने पहले ना कहा फिर मान लिया दो चीज मैं आपसे इसमें पूछना चाहता हूं एक तो है कब सुप्रीम कोर्ट को उन्होंने चिट्ठी दिया था इन सील कवर्स व्हेन डिड दे गिव द लेटर एंड व्हेन डिड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वर्डिक्ट कम ऑन दिस इशू अबाउट टू मंथ्स बैक व्हिच इज आफ्टर दिस लेटर बाय द सीएजी सेइंग दैट वी डोंट वांट टू रिडक्ट द प्राइस इन नवंबर इन नवंबर दे हैव सबमिटेड द सील्ड कवर टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड 14th दिसंबर द वर्डिक्ट केम आउट राइट in November, in the sealed cover, Prabir is right. In November, in the sealed cover, they predicted that this will be a redacted one. And they have told that to the CAG, <clears throat> as per the CAG report, in February this year. And It's truly amazing. And CAG refused to accept it initially. Now, it, it is true that without those details, it's virtually impossible to decipher what is being compared to what. Because all of it is X, Y, Z, M, all kinds of letters have been used. Let us, for instance, agree with what the government seems to be saying, that the Supreme Court judges who are weak on grammar, they did not understand the difference between past tense, present tense and future tense. Right. So we will leave that to the Supreme Court to sort out its and the government's English. Because we don't have what is English. I want to ask one question in this time. In this time, the CAG has seen the CAG in the same time. Eleven contracts, 11 contracts. Apache attack helicopter. 
इसमें चिनूक हेवी लिफ्ट हेलीकॉप्टर पायलटस ट्रेनर एयरक्राफ्ट मिसाइल्स है एमिनेशन है बहुत सारी चीज़ है रिकोनसन सिस्टम वेदर एडा ये सारे जितना ठेका है इसका एकदम लास्ट डिजिट अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर अपैच सबका डिटेल इलेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी पॉइंट जीरो फाइव करोड़ सबका नंबर आपने दिया सिर्फ एक जगह में आपने बी एक्सेस बना दिया टेन डिफेंस परचेस कैपिटल एक्सोसिएशन ना ऑन द इलेवेंथ वन इन द प्राइस कॉलम जस्ट द प्राइस कॉलम द ब्लैक डिट आउट that means it might have mentioned we don't know whether it's mentioned whether they had it we don't know it's black and here this is public money why why modi government is so scared or reluctant to disclose what they are spending from the consolidated fund of india they have also said 95000 crores cool. total Aapne purchase yeah. they have also said ki 10 ka kitna qeemat hai Having said that, it takes two minutes for you to calculate that the Rafale deal, as per CAG, is ninety-five thousand crore figure, and the other ten figures that they have given is about sixty thousand, sixty-one thousand crore. It's nearly sixty-one thousand crore. That's what it is saying. So, so why, why this did a reduction of the total price? If they had to redact the price of the details, if at all, now. as the whole world knows <laughs> there is enough details in out there which makes clear what this so called india specific enhancements for which the prices this presumably are keeping secret and the total price of the aircraft they're keeping secret ravi this is really more your question the india specific enhancements are not india specific enhancements they are only india specific enhancements for rafale yeah. they are for other aircraft including for instance the eurofighter these are very much a part of the base many of them itself. not completely not all of yeah, them but yeah. for the base many of them base bit and this is reiterated by the cag so right. me or you yeah, saying it exactly. the cag is saying it that these lot of these were not india specific enhancements they were called for in the tender itself these were the deviations rafale had taken because of which they were actually going to be thrown out of the bid right so therefore this whole english about india specific enhancement itself is a problem now we have to take it in in a different way in a comparison in this the cng uh, cag gives this comparison that uh, ASQ as the india specific enhancement that is asqr is air staff qualitative requirements right. yes so uh, Rafale was you know, matching was not matching with fourteen of them. Fourteen, of where them. Eurofighter Typhoon was lacking in four of them. Both the parties agreed that they will put it together. Now, my basic question is a slightly different. Um, this C, I mean CAG says that this proposal was a totally different one, and CAG goes in complete length to describe the proce entire process <coughs> of the MMR, MMR CA deal. Pardon me one second, okay? But when it come to this one, when it come to this one, they're completely they're they're not at all saying a single word on the process. Who authorized the prime minister? In fact, it's a very interesting question you're raising. they have given details of how bad the earlier process was they're starting from 2000 and up to 2015 then the prime minister's announcement they're not saying what prompted the prime minister to announce well, who authorized the prime minister to announce these are not a part of this audit at all on 27th of march there is according to the cag a decision to scrap the mmrca deal the defense minister public record seems to know about it when on march uh, on april 3rd yeah on yes. april 3rd to to jay shankar the foreign minister does not foreign know secretary. it foreign, foreign secretary. secretary two days before mr A modi leaves modi leaves for france was not aware that this deal is going to be cancelled a new deal is in the offing right. new deal is announced and you can go back and see the announcement they claimed though though they were not really uh, agreements it was just announcement the announcements are made on 10th april right. from 27th of march to 10th april how were the defense procedures followed this is the question you are raising exactly. there is a procedure which has to be followed 
air force has to say, I want this. Yes. On the basis of this, you have a procedure. Right. And if you are deciding the L1 bidder is to be negotiated with for a specific number of aircraft, you're scrapping the tender, then the L1 bidder has no meaning. A. And if you consider the L1 bidder to be still extant, alive for this purpose, then the other bidders also could have been alive. To the Supreme Court, the government said on March they started to withdraw. Even the, this report says the same. They started to withdraw the MMRCA process. Right? 10th March, his uh, Prime Minister Modi announced a new deal. 10th April. 10th April, 2015. Now, in this report, it starts only after the, the audit says only after whatever happened after the announcement of the Prime Minister's announcement. What prompted him to announce this? Who authorized him? Where is the ask you? No, and the question that you have raised with this question, what is the matter that your Raksha Mantri Manohar Parikar Ji didn't know? Your Raksha Videsh Sachiv Jai Shankar didn't know? Your Raksha Mantri Manohar Parikar Ji didn't know? उन लोग को भी मालूम नहीं था और और क्या मैंने आप कह रहे कि 27 मार्च को ये डिसीजन हो चुका था पर रक्षा मंत्री को मालूम नहीं था कि ये डिसीजन हो चुका कि एमएमआरसीए डील विड्रॉ की जाएगी स्क्रैप की तरफ दी जाएगी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन वाज रीच व्हिच वाज नॉट कम्युनिकेटेड द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर how did you come to a new agreement because the DPP, the defense procedure, even for intergovernment and ag agreement is quite clear. Exactly. There has to be a set of processes to be followed. For our viewers, one must understand the 2G scam was not about who took the money. 2G scam was a violation of procedures. Yes. That's what the court said, the violation of procedures. And violation of procedures is what the coal secretary is in has been convicted of. So it's not that the violation of procedures are just matter of detail. They are the central issue when you talk about corruption and the government. CAG report blackened the price. Okay, they don't want the government don't want uh, anyone to see the price. This morning, in the Hindu newspaper, N. Ram put out the dissent note of three members of the Indian negotiation uh, negotiating team. Right. And so the contact negotiation committee. There were the uh, three technical members who had some ideas <laughs> of this. That says the exact price is almost 7.88 billion, approximately. Few millions here and Which has been going around the media yes, for a very long time. Yes. Now, this CAG report, when we take that price, and that report says, that uh, dissent note says, Two things. One, th and this also says, this, this CAG report also says, there was a proposal from EADS, that is the manufacturers of uh, Eurofighter Typhoon, which um, Indian Air Force selected the two, uh, two machines, and one was Rafale and one other was Eurofighter Typhoon. And Eurofighter proved to be more expensive at that time. As no, at, that at that time. At that time. They are saying they were, they, they were cheaper. 2012, they proved to be more expensive. Exa exactly. exactly. CAG report says that was cheaper. In that case, if they had to go, if Modi government had to go for a new deal, why didn't they consider that? The, the recent CAG report, government given to CAG report, government has told the CAG <laughs> that it was an unsolicited report, so they didn't go unsolicited for Unsolicited bid. Offer. Yeah, unsolicited, uh, unsolicited yeah. offer, so they didn't consider that. Assuming all the figures, redacted figures, which we don't see are there, they're all correct. Even assuming that based on the report, is it an apple-to-apple -apple comparison to look at the price of the, the earlier uh, 126 aircraft and the 36 aircraft brought to a common base, or are there differences? Uh, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and um, Arun, Jaitley, Arun Jaitley said 20% lower. Nirmala Sita Raman said it's 9% lower. And so did Trappier actually. Tra Eric Trappier said 9% cheaper in the interview. The reason is, in this particular deal, there is no bank guarantee. Correct. The bank guarantee has a price. If you look, see, the deal, it's, it, the contract is signed on 2016. The contract ends on 2022. So if you go for a bank guarantee, if 
as per how the, the, the defense deals works, if the, the manufacturer is refusing to give a bank guarantee, the government forced them to give a bank guarantee saying that we will bear the bank guarantee charges. Charges are bear, correct. Right. The dissent note, the dissent note of those three INT members, they worked India out. India negotiating team. Yes. They worked out the charges which was coming to 7.8%. So, this means that 7.8% is increased. In that case, Seven point eight से आप ये two point eight minus करेंगे, तो भी करेंगे approximately five percent का पांच के आसपास। price ज़्यादा है। No, I am going to give them a benefit of doubt, just because they have used so many letters of the alphabet to not tell us what the calculations are. So we really don't know what they have or haven't done, which is what the CAG itself said कि nobody will understand when we redact the price, what the hell have we audited? And I would go with that. Yes, we don't understand what the hell they have audited. But leaving that out, the issue is that bank guarantee was not considered in the comparison. That is fairly clear from these two accounts. I think two very important issues. A, 59,000 crores has been bandied about on the total price. Nearly 61 now. Now, as per this, it's according to CAG now, by simple subtraction, we reach a figure of 61,000 uh, 61, crores, roughly. Okay, so that is one. The second is this 2.86 certainly is far lower than 20%, 9% that have been talked about. That's also the not there. Minister. The minister Actually, earlier, it's not there. And even this 2.86% seems to be highly suspect because honestly, the bank guarantee figures we know, according to the dissent note of the three technical members, means that this price was going to be higher than the original price that they had offered. So I think on both discounts, best we can give uh, to the CAG, well, shall we say, barely pass marks for their calculations, but certainly not much for transparency. No, I, 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 will, I will use harsher language. I, I will allow you to do that. I'm saying it's but a sham. I, I would, you're saying it's a sham? What I am say? saying my classmate in college, Mr. Rajiv Marishi, the controller and auditor general of India, the, he's a constitutional functionary, hasn't exactly covered his office with glory by selectively choosing not to disclose information, which in the opinion of not just me, but large numbers of people would not have compromised the security of this country, but selectively redacted information, which evidently suits the ruling regime. So the autonomy of the CAG, the independence of the CAG, I believe has been compromised. And as we discussed at the very outset, how did the Supreme Court know what was going to happen all this while, uh, two months before? Last concluding remark, which I would like Porajay to make, I'm giving him the last chance. Uh, on this, no, Ravi. No, the, no, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to not go on the, the assault. I'm going to ask you, Maharshi was the finance secretary, okay? He's now become the CAG. This did go to the finance ministry in spite of Mr. what Mr. Jaitley says, because the defense procurement procedure is very clear that this has to be seen by the finance ministry. Was it right on his part to have done this, signed the report, or should he have recused himself saying, I'm going to be walk, I'm not going to be party to this. Let somebody else in the CAG look into this. According to Mr. Arun Jaitley, the finance minister, who has given Mr. Rajiv Merishi a clean chit, saying that, you know, the finance secretary really had nothing to do with it. There were junior flunkies, but after all, he still headed that department. The other justification could be that Mr. Merishi wore a different hat at that point of time. As the secretary, the senior most secretary in the Ministry of Finance, he was holding a particular position. Now that he's an, in a constitutional position as the head of the Controller and Auditor General of India, he can afford to look dispassionately at his own, own judgments, if you like. It's like saying some, somebody was finance secretary and becomes an RBI governor. And therefore, his position changes and he can afford to be critical of himself. Regretfully, I wish I could be as charitable as this to my friend, 
Mr. Rajiv Merishi. Thing we will left one thing in, in between here. The price was the so for this particular deal for 36 rafal, the the price what the so was given in 2000 7.8 billion in 2015. Yes. Our government and ministers keep saying this price is a better negotiated price. Before the negotiation started, this price was submitted by the so. Look at today's uh, design note. It says. Okay, what you are saying is this was the price which was given at that time, submitted by Dassault. Negotiations does not seem to have made any change in the price. Okay. I, I it was taken at face value. Is that what you are saying? Prabhi, despite okay. my classmates, I don't want to have the last word. I'd like you and Ravi to have the last word. I want to ask one question here. Okay. Where does Mr. Anil Ambani figure into all this? Well, there is going to be a separate CAG report on the offset contract. That has also been written over here. So we have to wait for it with bated breath. Whether this will Do be you think it will happen before the elections or after the elections? How I can? Parliament is over now. How it will not I come think, out? I think it's very clear. This is very clear. The session is over. Parliament session is ending today. This is the so, last day. So the real See, why did issue, why did they wait? Why did they wait for the last day of the, the session of the government? Right. This is today is Modi government's last day in the parliament. That's right. Thank you very much, both of you, for being with us, trying to enlighten me and the viewers on this very complicated picture that the CAG has presented before the nation today. Enough for today. We'll keep coming back to you with more Rafals because I don't think this issue is going to go away.